Hello, this is a brief video of an action potential on a neuron. On the left, we're going to have a graph of the action potential, and on the right, we're going to show the cell membrane with the channels and the flipping of the poles. In the extracellular fluid, sodium is going to be found in a high concentration. In the intracellular fluid, potassium ion is going to be found in a high concentration. This aids with having a positive charge on the outside of the cell membrane and a negative charge on the inside of this membrane. This resting membrane potential will be measured at negative 70 millivolts on a neuron. On the cell membrane, we'll have sodium voltage-gated channels and potassium voltage-gated channels. The resting memory potential of negative 70 millivolts will be shown as a straight line on the graph. When a stimulus is received, the cell membrane will become more positive. When it reaches the threshold of negative 55 millivolts, the sodium voltage-gated channels will open. The sodium ions will rush into the cell due to the electrochemical gradient. The cell membrane becomes more positive and the charges on the outside and the inside are essentially flipped, and this phase is called depolarization. When the membrane potential reaches a plus 30 millivolts, the sodium voltage-gated channels will become inactive. At the same time, the potassium voltage-gated channels will open up. The potassium ions will be kicked out due to the electrochemical gradient. The cell membrane will become more negative, and this phase is called repolarization. The poles are reset to positive being on the outside and negative on the inside. As the potassium voltage-gated channels close, extra potassium ions are moved to the outside, which causes a hyperpolarization phase. The sodium-potassium pump continues to work to get the resting memory potential back to negative 70 millivolts. This was a brief video on action potential, and I hope it helps you. Thank you.